The Boeing Hughes MH6 is a compact, adaptable helicopter that was developed from the OH-6 Cayuse Light Reconnaissance Helicopter and is mostly employed for special operations. It also comes in a variety of variations, including the small yet incredibly powerful AH-6 attack helicopter. Modernized versions of the MD-530 civilian helicopter are based on it. A light helicopter suited for observation, transport, and even combat tasks was requested by the American Army in 1960. The end result was the OH-6 Cayuse in 1966. The MH-6 is an enhanced version that includes, among other things, additional passenger room and a greater ability to equip weapons. The Little Bird, although it was initially designed as a recon helicopter for armored battalions, was almost immediately used in the field of special operations. When it comes to its design, the MH-6 employs an egg-shaped design for its exterior. Large glass, highly visible bubble cockpit with room for two crew members is located in the front. The passenger seating is located on the fuselage sidewalls. The seating is made up of just two benches, one on each side of the helicopter, allowing for the placement of six soldiers, three on each side, while still reducing weight. The result of this design allows the soldiers to quickly evacuate the helicopter, despite the fact that it may appear perilous. The engine, which is located on the back and produces roughly 375 horsepower, allows the Little Bird to reach a top speed of 282 kilometers per hour. The maximum range of the MH-6, which has 235 liters of internal gasoline, is 430 kilometers. Additionally, this aircraft possesses a variety of characteristics that have elevated it to the U.S.'s main light helicopter used by special forces to this day. It is reasonably tough despite lacking armor, giving the pilots a good chance of surviving a collision. It is quite quiet and has a considerable amount of stealth when painted black. This little helicopter can fly in both urban and rural areas, especially at low altitudes, and is quite skilled at performing challenging, quick, and dangerous maneuvers. It has the ability to quickly land in tight spaces or even on top of buildings. A more compact substitute for the MH-60 helicopters is the MH-6. Contrary to popular assumption, the MH-6 is an observation and transport helicopter and does not, unless modified, carry any weapons. However, the AH-6 variation of the MH-6 may carry a variety of guns, missiles, and rockets. The MH-6, however, can serve as a sensor system for the AH-6 during its ground attack missions. Unless operating alongside an MH-6, which assumes the sensor duty, AH-6s typically have their own sensor suites. This enables the AH-6 to transport additional weapons. For your information, the MH-6 has a reputable combat record. The United States required a special operation helicopter team following the Eagle Claw hostage rescue attempt's failure in 1980. It rapidly created the Night Stalkers, also known as the 160th Special Operations Aviations Brigade, SOAR. This unit has continuously supplied close air support and transportation for Special Forces units, especially the elite soldiers of Joint Special Operations Command, JCOC, and it still does so. The MH6 initially participated in combat, though sparingly, in Grenada and in Nicaragua. However, Operation Prime Chance, a mission to safeguard merchant shipping, was when the MH6 really distinguished itself. Here, MH6s first assisted AH6s in locating targets, which were frequently small Iranian boats. MH6s were essential to Operation Just Cause, the American invasion of Panama. Kurt Muse's release from captivity was the Little Birds and their operators' first and most interesting mission. The helicopter tried to take off after picking up Muse, but was shot down right after, although everyone survived the crash. Later, the Little Birds joined the search for Manuel Noriega. In the well-known Battle of Mogadishu, four years later, an MH6 was successful in recovering two of the downed agents from one of the downed Blackhawks. In addition to the battle in Afghanistan, 
The MH6 also saw action in Iraq. They provided sensor support for AH-6 flights and transported JSOC troops around both countries. At the height of the US-led invasion of Iraq, JSOC undertook many sorties a day to neutralize militants. Two AH-6s were usually used for interception, two MH-6s with snipers for precise shooting, and two MH-60 Blackhawks with operators for assault during these operations. Smokey and the Bandit is a fascinating capacity that members of the 160th SOAR are familiar with using. As many as two of the Little Bird's rotors are folded and loaded into a big commercial transport truck by the agents. This enables the agents to approach the target with the helicopters without drawing attention to themselves. Operatives can reassemble the MH6s in around three minutes once they are ready to employ the helicopters. In addition to the United States, Malaysia and Saudi Arabia are the other MH6 operators. In terms of its variants, the AH-6 is the attack helicopter version of the Little Bird. Little Bird gun is the name of the weapon. This helicopter, which performs a variety of special duties, is virtually identical to the MH-6 in terms of design, with the exception of the absence of the troop seats and the addition of two mounting stations. In addition to pods containing 70mm unguided hydro rockets, Hellfire anti-tank missiles, TOW anti-tank missiles, and AIM-92 Stinger air-to-air -air missiles, these may hold a variety of weapons including 30mm chain guns, 12.7mm Gatling guns, 7.62mm miniguns, and more. There are numerous variations of the AH-6. So, the newest version of this helicopter is MH-6M. It is also known as the Mission Enhanced Little Bird, MELB. This is an upgrade program that introduces a number of improvements, including a new six-blade main rotor, which further reduces noise, a Rolls-Royce 250C30R 3M650 SHP engine, improved folding benches, racks for carrying up to two motorcycles, and fuel tanks that are supposedly resistant to crashes and heavy machine gun fire. Talking about its operational history, Little Bird pilots took part in numerous operations from the time of the 2003 invasion of Iraq until the end of the conflict in late 2011. In western Iraq's al qadisya a special operations raid included two AH-6 and two MH-6 helicopters. When the 75th Ranger Regiment took control of the Haditha Dam complex in April 2003, AH-6 and MH-6 supported them. Right now, the only thing that can take the place of the Little Bird is another Little Bird who is stronger. But that can change in the future. Meanwhile, the additional machine gun attachment will undoubtedly continue to add to the platform's overall adaptability and brings the AH-6 and MH-6's capabilities a little bit closer together, if only a little, which is still undoubtedly a positive development. As always, if you liked this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next one.